Hi there, Pastor John here. It is Wednesday at 10 o'clock. It's time for 10 at 10 as we connect with one another in this way. So Wednesday, hump day, middle of the week. Um, yesterday felt like it was an entire week in one day. So you might have, uh, that might resonate with you a little bit. Um, the haiku for today, I write the haikus the day before so I can post them early in the morning. And yesterday the haiku was all about that waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning while your brain is reeling. And I might have mentioned that yesterday as well, the way um, I can't remember. And that is the theme of today is the word is forget. Um, looking at forget, how easily we can forget um, what's gone before and we can forget what God has done for us. And that word, I'm, I'm tying it in, there's a, a text that uh, came to mind when I was thinking about that word forget. And it's out of Matthew. And in that, um, let me see where I can find it. I think it's in Matthew. Is that it? Nope, it's in John. <laughs> I had the wrong uh, wrong bookmark. Um, I've got like four bookmarks in my Bible, and I had three of them in the right place, one of them in a different place, and I went to the wrong one. I forgot where I was going. See how that theme kind of keeps coming back? Um, but this, uh, this um, is uh, chapter 8, verses uh, 31 through 33, and I love this, and I cannot read this paragraph without chuckling a little bit to myself, because um, Jesus has just been talking, you know, he's been doing some stuff, he's been preaching, and he gets to this point where he says, he, there's the, the followers, um, there are some Jews that are following him. Um, so these are believers. These are not like um, people that are opposed to him. These are um, fellow believers. They um, Verse 31 says, Then Jesus said to the Jews, and for, for John, whenever he uses the word the Jews, he's talking about Jewish authorities, the, those that are in power. It's not, um, it's not a specific, at an entire group of people. Um, but anyway, so, and at the Gospel of John, the time that it was written, they would have gotten that. They would have known that. But anyway, so this, this verse, uh, chapter 8, verses 31 to 33. Now remember, we're talking about forgetting. We're talking about um, how easy it is to forget, how easy it is. I mean, well, it's easy to forget some things and then not so easy to forget other things. But this, this is where I'm going with this. Then Jesus said to those who believed in him, or Jesus said to the Jews who be had believed in him, If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. And they answered him, we are descendants of Abraham and have never been slaves to anyone. What do you mean by saying you'll be made free? I love that. Now, and that's all that's all I want to we could go on further. I mean, Jesus goes off, but I love that when we're talking about remembering and we're talking about forgetting. And they answered him, "We are descendants of Abraham. We have never been slaves to anyone." how easy it is to forget. I mean, if I'm just, I'll remind you that the Exodus story, the Exodus, uh, the liberation, the crossing over the Red Sea, the pull being, um, uh, you know, Moses coming, let my people go. Um, yeah, they were slaves. They've been, um, you know, and I love that. We've never been slaves to anybody. Uh, yeah, yeah, you have. And I, and I bring that up not to, not to um, harp on, on the Jewish leaders in the day, but how easy it is for us to forget uh, what God has done for us in the past, what God is walking with us, and what God is doing. So one, the theme I'm looking at today is a way to um, a... You know, there are things we do to help us remember, um, whether it be a, like a note, the notepad on your phone, whether it be setting an alarm, whether it be um, some people tie us, uh, I forget, oh yeah, a thread around your finger to go, um, so what is, why did I put this here? Oh, and I remember, there are times that we can forget 
about the things that we are to be grateful for, the things that we have to say thanks for, the, the, the ways that God has walked with us and the people in our lives. So what I would ask and I would suggest that we find ways to spiritually wrap uh, a thread around our finger, to spiritually find ways that we might um, remember what, how we might um, bring, bring to mind that which God has done for you. And sometimes we can just, just think about what helps us remember. Um, sometimes it's yesterday I talked about intention. I talked about, um, for me, what's been helping me remember is actually giving up sweets. And I remember that when it comes to me. And I've been remembering that a lot. There are so many ways that we can reconnect. Um, I think about sometimes when a particular smell will, will, you know, whether it be the smell of roses, whether it be, you know, for me, lilacs brings back memories from home. Um, I love the smell of that. And so there are those things that, that draw us in. Um, and so maybe, maybe it's as easy as, um, Finding finding the perfume or finding the, uh, some something that connects you, but to pay attention to what we can easily forget, where we can spend most of our time focusing on. Because if I let my brain, if I let my mind go, um, it can. It's not always the healthiest thing. Brene Brown, who if you have not read Brene Brown, I I highly suggest it. And if you ever find yourself having some free time maybe, um, look up her TED Talk on vulnerability and compassion. But on her TED Talk on vulnerability, she talks about how our brain is not our best friend. That there's times where our brain will go into a cycle, into a circle where um, we forget one thing and we're just going to fixate on another and it goes around and around and around. So ways giving, giving us anchors, giving us places that we can draw from and remember our God of grace, remember the God who has claimed us from the beginning, remember the God who has set us free. There, I've been talking with folks about um, remembering that, um, you know, that whole, uh, I'm, I'm now forgetting, my brain's going 100 miles an hour. So I then I ground myself, I go, okay, so where, where were we at? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, if you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. So I ground myself in this, that this time, this 10 to 10, 10 at 10, uh, is as important for me as I hope you are finding it to connect and to spend time in the Word and remind ourselves the God that walks with us and holds us close. So that's where I'm going at. That's what I'm going with. And uh, I hope you can um, uh, find time to uh, spiritually connect and remember what God is doing for you. So let's uh, say a word of prayer. I'm going to pray. ask that you would pray with me. Forgiving God in Christ Jesus, you remember us in your grace. Help us to live into the promise of life every day, learning to trust in you, and that we might remember your love for all. We ask that you would be with those who are doing essential jobs, that you would keep them safe, that you would be with those who are suffering, those of you, those that have lost folks, those that are wondering about tomorrow, that you would remind them that you walk with them as well. In your gracious name we pray. Amen. So, um, what was I going to, oh, I tell you, forgetting is a good word. Uh, tonight, Zoom Bible study. We're meeting at 7 Pacific time, 8 o'clock, you know, Idaho, Montana. 
and that, but we're meeting at Zoom. I've got a link posted on the event page at Facebook, and um, we've sent out some, and if you uh, didn't get that, um, I'm gonna post the 10 at 10 on YouTube as well, and you can um, reach out to me to get the Zoom link. You can phone in, or you can use the Zoom app and uh, video. It's We tried it last week, so we got some of the kinks worked out. Um, we're looking at Philippians. So read the first chapter, and we'll talk about probably the first half of the chapter, because we'll do some background stuff. I'm excited about it. Interesting way to do Bible study, and I look forward to seeing you there. So, um, all right. I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you have prayer requests that you would like us to lift up, you'd like me to lift up, you can leave them in the comments or you can message me. You can leave them at Zion's Facebook page. So again, appreciate you all. Love you all. We'll talk to you later.